Easy patch number nine, pebble plaster repair kit for above water repairs. Water must be lowered before doing repairs. Easy to do repair kit that looks like most original pool pebble plaster. Available in many colors and in sizes one pound, three pound, 10 pound, and 50 pound kits. Just mix easy patch number nine dry cement mix with the enclosed liquid acrylic bonder and add water. Mixing to the consistency of thick mashed potatoes. Here we have a rolled bond beam pebble plastic repair. Remove dirt and rock from the bottom area to expose it. You will usually find clumps of excess pebble plaster there. This excess from the original installation of the pebble plaster has to be removed because it is the main cause of hollow and cracked pebble plaster on the rolled bond beam. The ground always moves, and when the ground rises up against the excess pebble plaster, it will also put a lot of pressure on the pebble plaster above at the rolled bond beam, often causing it to dislodge and crack. This slag excess should be chipped away to help prevent more damage from occurring. We have located the cracks and we are tapping the pebble plaster to locate the laminating hollow sounds that will tell us where and how much to chip off. Having located the hollow areas, we start removing the pebble plaster. Continuing to tap for hollow sounds. Using a four inch masonry blade on a four inch grinder, we saw cut the edges straight down so that they do not bevel or slant. You can also use a hammer and chisel to do this. The area to be repaired must be chipped down to a minimum of 3 eighths of an inch to do this repair. We find that the shotcrete rolled bond beam surface is too smooth, so to ensure a correct adhesion, you should either saw cut grooves as shown or use a hammer and chisel to nick up and roughen the substrate surface. Now thoroughly rinse and scrub the area with water to remove any dust or loose debris. Or you can use some muriatic acid to clean the area if needed. First, wet the area with water. Then, apply muriatic acid, then rinse with water thoroughly. Use your sponge to remove any excess water.
Apply mixed up Easy Patch number nine firmly to the area using a trowel or your hand and fill in the area to be repaired. Level out your repair using a rounded edge trowel. Removing excess repair material from the repair edges. Holding a trowel against the existing pebble surface acts as a guide as you remove excess pebble repair material to obtain levelness at the edges. Trowel over the repair area to ensure levelness. Trowel and sponge the edges, filling in any voids. Check the repair to see how stiff it's becoming. While you're waiting, you can do some cleanup. Do not use a hot air gun or hair dryer to quicken the setting of this type of repair because it will dry the surface too quickly. This will cause you difficulty later when you rinse the repair to expose the pebble aggregate. When the repair material is fairly stiff and firm, you can use a fine water spray to expose the pebble aggregate. You can use a bug sprayer or water hose to carefully wash away some of the cement from the surface of the repair to expose the pebble.
Use the sponge to finish cleaning off any excess repair materials surrounding the repaired area. If there is any residue haze the next day, it can be removed by wetting the area with water and pouring in a mixture of one-third muriatic acid to two-thirds part water on the patched area. Wait approximately one minute and rinse off thoroughly using water. If the repair is inside the pool, allow repair to set overnight before refilling the pool water.